Hey, so, I don't know, I saw this caffeine thing pop up on Humble Bundle, so I'm well, gonna check it out, see what the fuck it is. Streaming to zero people on that, yay. I think I am. I should probably double check that it's actually going. Yeah, looks like it is. Neat. You're strong. Yeah, Dylan knows about this caffeine thing. It apparently only has select games that you can stream. Well, this seems pretty big, and it included this game right here, so... Now, whatever. I don't like that limitation. Come on, really? A pretty big flaw for a streaming service to limit what games you can stream. Are we ready for this? Oh, maybe I'll like it more than Twitch. I really hate how that map just randomly pops up. Oh, you're a fast one. Like, I fully intended to fight it because I haven't fought this mob before, but I wasn't expecting it to force me into the fight.
That should have been a back attack. Totally turned away at the wrong time. I did good, didn't I? Say, do you know why Velvet was sent to that prison island in the first place? It had to be to funnel the other prisoners' malevolence to a Nominot, right? There's an Earth Pulse point near a ball, right? Wouldn't it have been easier just to leave her there? Lack of food, probably. I heard she devoured the entire village. Could that rumor really be true? Who can say? Let's ask Aizen's coin. You know it doesn't work like that. All right, let's think. Why else would Artorius move Velvet to the island? If she was the first Therian he captured... <gasps> he needed a guinea pig to test out what was written in the ancient book! Precisely. He made a special cage for her in the island prison, where Earth Pulse Point and Malevolence met. Then he used Velvet to test how Therians work. Huh. <laughs> I could see him doing that. But turning his own family into an experiment... I'm just offering a theory. But a man willing to sacrifice his brother's life wouldn't likely show mercy to his sister either. In -laws. How could he be capable of such things? Perhaps that's just how badly he wants to save this world. Or perhaps there's no other way it could be saved. Huh? I was married for four years. I never even met her brother. I don't give a shit about him. Do you think there'll be ruins at this Earth Pulse point too? If you're expecting something like the undersea or underground temples we saw before, you might be setting yourself up for a disappointment. Have you been there before? No. But if there's any such kind of grand structure here, it wasn't recorded in the Abbey's archives. Eastgand has long been a frontier, and civilization here was never really developed. Plus, the land to the east is said to be unstable, making it hard to build anything too large there. Even if a temple had been built there, the shifting earth would likely have swallowed it without a trace. The warship of Inominat may be widespread now, but just a few years ago, Empyrean faith was all but dead. Right. Still, if you actually searched for the ruins, I bet you could come up with something incredible. We've seen underwater and underground temples, so why not a temple in the sky? A temple in the sky? It's a romantic thought, and the ancients were certainly advanced, but... Flying temples are a bit far-fetched, eh? <laughs> Hey, that's the beauty of magic. Anything could happen. A flying temple, a beautiful woman being sawed in half. The border between dream and reality is as fine as a frog's hair. Maybe you just spend too much time daydreaming. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs>
Oh, hello. Oh, damn it. I could do a boss battle. Don't waste my mystic art. <sighs> Fucking game makes random inputs. Got enough for a really? basic one. Hello. Stir pole. Pole. Even when block it just tore through me. can't really dodge that or block it. You just have to run away. Be in berserk mode. Here. Quick, 
See what hit me. Out of that range. I can't die here. Wait for my maid. Here. Yeah, was a little fucker. Go save after that. Therefore, it doesn't work here. Take that! Take 
Nothing can stop these fists! Doing all that with this shitty sword. Forgot about that. Shortcut doesn't look like it's a special area. Thought one of you. Voice. Wind, kill them 
Take on bosses without your life on it. Should have went back to town. Figure it out. Res you and you steal my soul. Thank you. 
Good for the raw attack power. Those girls seemed like he was actually doing good damage to it. I want to bring him Leave in. Leave the fighting to me. Understood. Let's do our best. Trying to dodge. me while I'm running away to grab this fucking soul.
And I was about to say, made it through the fight with no one dying, he had to die right at the end. Now I'm gonna die right at the end. I can't die here. Oh no, I think I had four bottles at the start. I guess one person did die. Way better than the first try. couldn't be true. You're too strong to let some crummy demon take you down. You're alive. <laughs> Sorry, I... I didn't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. I have to let everyone know the good news. You finally come back to us. Nico's alive. She's alive. Don't let your guard down. I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, naturally, we've got a Reaper with us. Let's head for a ball. We can ask everyone there exactly what happened. Y yeah. You know what you're getting into? 
Velvet, I have to ask. Are you sure that the other villagers died that day? Well, it's... It's not like I had time to check. Really hate when it just randomly decides... Oh yeah, I'm popping up a menu on you now. Not hit that button. I find these dead ends to be really suspicious, but this game isn't big on traps. I just feel like I'm walking into a trap, but there's never a trap. Luffy. Velvet, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I know I'm right. I'm sure of it. This isn't how the village should be. Well, let's stay calm and investigate. I am calm. I'm fine. Really. It didn't seem like that was someone else masquerading as this Nico girl. But if she's the real thing, then something very unnatural is going on. You get me, Rokuro? Yeah. We'd better keep an eye out. The other way. open that box.
Boss battle. They come back with life bottles. To a village, hopefully, there's a shop. Are we ready to see We're finished here. Let's go. Velvet! You're really all right. Oh, thank heavens! It's so good to see you! Where have you been all this time? You never even wrote! But... I don't... I... I thought the whole village was wiped out that day. Yeah... It nearly was. But just when we thought it was all over, Arthur, Lord Artorius, saved us! No! It was his doing in the first place! He sacrificed Lafayette! It really was a shame what happened to that poor boy. That's all you have to say? A shame? My brother Loppy died I'm that- sorry. Truly, I am. But you can't lose hope, dear. He's right. What counts is that your brother's still alive. <laughs> He's... alive? He's... in your house. Don't worry, we've all pitched in to take care of him. I don't... Velvet. <laughs> Vel... Show him... Velvet, let's go to your house and see. Yeah, okay.
Luffy... Luffy's alive? What's wrong? <coughs> well, that didn't break it. Next time you suspect an illusory art, test out your theory on yourself. You think we're all seeing an illusion? It's possible. It wouldn't be the first time. But an entire village? That shouldn't be possible. Shouldn't be, no. How do we approach this? Try to break it apart at the seams somehow? No. For now, we and our enemies share the same goal. Come on. Help me look for the Therian. Sure. I... think I'll stick with Velvet. I won't stop you. Keep a close eye on her. I don't think she's entirely right in the head at the moment. Yeah. My home... it hasn't changed a bit. We need to be careful, Velvet. Aizen thinks this could be a trap. You think Nico and everyone are being controlled? I don't know. It's just... You think it could be Melchior's doing. But even so... <sighs> it's not going to work on me. You're insane. People can fight against pain, but... I won't be deceived by this. You'll open your wound! He's been asleep ever since that day. I found him at the shrine, collapsed on the ground. His wounds healed, but he's never woken up. If he's still alive, that's all that matters. I'll find a way to wake you again, Lafi. I swear I will. We'll be together. I still have to thank you for this comb, after all. So, that's where Velvet's comb came from.
Yes, I am, and that's why I didn't notice the message until now, because it Did moves Lord backwards Arturus of how I'm really used to seeing to messages. Did such a defenseless child? What's wrong, Lafayette? You don't look like your usual perky self. I'm... I'm okay. I'm just glad Velvet's alright. What? Your name is Lafayette too? <laughs> what a weird coincidence! Uh, yeah. Hey, sorry about all that, you guys. Don't worry about it. What are we going to do now? If it were me, I'd make Luffy set something he really likes for dinner tonight. He can handle soup. Maybe he'll notice the smell of your cooking and it'll wake him up. Yeah, maybe I should. Would you watch after him while I go buy what I need? Of course. I am at your beck and call. Is there anything I can do to help too? Yes, please. I'll need you to be my taste tester. And weird for the messages to go right. First, I'm bottom gonna up instead of quiche. top to bottom. And then I'll throw in tomato and egg soup and some pudding. I didn't even know your face had smile muscles. I wonder if they've located the Therian. Let's just leave that to them. You're not curious? Of course I am, but for right now, I want to stay close to Velvet. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Something more important than finding the Therian? Yeah. My stomach is twisted, and I've got a chill up my spine. I'm really scared. Very well. I trust your feelings. We'll leave the Therian to Rokuro and Aizen, and stay with Velvet then. Thanks, Eleanor. Magilu, what will you do? Whatever I feel like. <sighs> I shouldn't have asked. Thanks anyway, Magilu. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? In the end, whatever happens, happens. Wiser words never spoken, right? Basically Buddhism, in a nutshell. Super casual Buddhism. Nobody's noticing that uh, pink book there that looks a lot like the book we already have. It's kind of an essential book. No? No one picking up on that? Okay. So, let's waste some. Food's ready. 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 Surprising how I can do. Food's ready. 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 It's nothing. Food's ready. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Velvet? I wanted to apologize to you for ages now. Apologize? What for? That business with Arthur. Back then, I said he seemed like a fraud. I know you took it pretty hard. But if he wasn't there three years ago, our village would have been destroyed. I'm sorry I doubted him. I didn't trust him then either. I only realized how amazing of a person he was when he saved all of our lives. <sighs> I'm ashamed of myself. All this time we've been feeling terrible, thinking we may have driven you to leave the village. Please, forgive us. That's not... I, I didn't... Where have you been these past three years? It must have been tough living on your own, without any family to help you. <sighs> Sorry, you don't have to talk about it if it hurts. But if you ever feel like talking, we're here for you. I know we can't make up for all the pain we put you through, but if there's anything we can do... 
Just ask. And if you'd like, you're always welcome to come back. The whole village would welcome you with open arms. Oh. The coming of the Malachim are a gift from the Empyreans, a reward for our repentance and our renewed prayers. The Malachim are our blades against the demons, and the exorcists the hands that wield them. Humanity's hope. You never change. Want me to take you home this time? No! Don't treat me like I'm senile! Ah, uh, okay. Oh, it's you, Velvet. Be careful when fighting prickle boars. If they charge you, punch them in the nose, right? No! Throw sand in their eyes! Sand in the eyes. Got it. You finally started listening to me. You're 16. You've really grown. Yeah. 16? But aren't you 19? Leave her be. Velvet! It's been forever! Great to see you! You haven't changed a whit! What do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, have you seen Nico yet? I have. She's as full of life as she always was, right? Come to think of it, nothing's really changed much, has it? I suppose not. By the way, how are Orthy and Russ doing? Those pups haven't changed a whit either. They saw a guy with a big sword walking with a dour-eyed fellow in black. They freaked out and hightailed it. That would be Rokuro and Aizen. Those dogs are as cowardly as always. So, what part of Velvet hasn't changed a whit? Hmm. She doesn't have any makeup on? Uh-huh. <laughs> Between the cold, the famine, and the demon blight, there were times I thought the world was done for. But, over the past three years, I've stopped worrying. I know we're overly reliant on Arthur and the Exorcists, but this village has changed. The Exorcists taught us that there are things the demons hate. We can't defeat them, but we can keep them away. It's peaceful now. Exorcists stop by on patrol every now and then, and we haven't had a case of demon blight since... What happened to your sister was horrible, but you and Lafayette said should try to move on. Make the most of your lives. I hope he wakes up soon. I'm sure he will. Hey, could I get some eggs, milk, spinach, and tomatoes? And I'd love to know what cheese you'd recommend, too. You got it. And in celebration of your homecoming, I won't even charge. With you cooking up a feast like that, I'm sure Lafayette will wake up straight away. Thanks. I really appreciate it. You're getting spinach? I can't really handle it myself. You'll never grow up strong if you don't eat your spinach, young lady. I've done just fine without it so far, thank you. <laughs> oh, if you insist, I'll leave it out just this once. Wow, Velvet. You must be special. Not many folks get to be friends with an exorcist. She's, She's not, not my, my friend! friend. <laughs> the way you two bicker, I find that hard to believe. Oh, yeah. Do you have any prickle boar? Oh, I'm sorry to say that I'm out at the moment. That's fine. I'll hunt some up myself in the tranquil woods. Just like old times. Actually, there haven't been any prickle boars there lately. You should try the Morgana Woods instead. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the tip. You don't like spinach, right, Eleanor? Well, you know, I just... All right, it's true, but keep that between us, okay? 
Velvet really seemed to be enjoying herself at the shop. Quite. And she can really pick out a nice balance of foods while making every gold count. She seems so cheerful and carefree. That's the real Velvet. I'm sure of it. Yes. An ordinary, dutiful, loving sister. I wish she could have stayed that way. She could have lived a happy life, surrounded by her friends. Just plain Velvet Crow, sister to Lord Artorius. Uh, and maybe not Lord Artorius, but just plain Arthur. A happy, ordinary life for an ordinary girl, with a kind family and supportive friends. All right. Ready? To the Morgana Woods to hunt some prickle boars. Yeah, sure. To the save point, to save my game, I gotta step away.